This is Mike Miller. He's the primary songwriter and lead vocalist for Endless Mike on the Beagle Club, that CD that you've been listening to for for a few weeks now. And uh, he's going to play a few songs, talk about them, and then open it up to Q&A. So have your notebooks out, take copious notes, ask lots of really good questions. And please make sure get your name. Everybody got their name on this piece of paper here? Thank you. All right. Let's give it up for Mike Miller. Thanks for coming, Mike. Thanks for having me. How's it going? Good, good, good. So I had a, a nightmare about doing this last night. I had a stream where I, I, I think I was supposed to be at UPJ, but it looked more like Cloud City from Star Wars. This like sci-fi kind of weird thing that sort of went around in a circle. I, I'm not going to be very good. And, uh, but I was late coming to this class because I got sidetracked. My friend Dallas was in the dream, and he talked me into going to, on water slides at UPJ's water park, because in the dream there was a water park. <laughs> and uh, so I, I, let him, I let him talk me into that, and uh, I you know, played on water slides for too long, and this professor that looked nothing like your professor, he looked more like Nick Cave, <laughs> kept showing up out of nowhere and yelling at me that I was late, but he didn't help me get there. And I couldn't find my actual clothes, so I was wearing a sweater and my swimming trunks and no glasses trying to find the place. And it was horrific, and then all my teeth fell out, and then I woke up. So, <laughs> with that being said, uh, I think that that means, uh, you know, obviously, uh, um, when I heard about that you guys were doing this and you had to listen to this record and then uh, that I was going to come and talk, and I uh, started to think about it from from your point of view, if, if I were you and I had to go over this record and these words and try to analyze it, I would probably think, um, <laughs> you know, who cares, kind of. Like, what's, you know, why would anybody, why would anybody care is what I thought about it. And, but that's, that's a good thing. I was glad I got into that because I think that's the reason uh, that I did it anyway. Yeah. You know, to talk about, like, some of the themes that are on the record. One being sort of the importance of what is insignificant, one, of being, of thinking, you know, who would care what one guy has to say or one group of people in this case, what they have to say to the rest of the world. And uh, that's one of the themes. I'm going to play a song here and then we're going to chat and hopefully all my teeth stay in my head. And I know 
exactly where the last eight years went. We've been waiting for somebody else to be president, to work for the people, not the other way around. If you don't lose it, you lose it. You can't sit this one out. But to make my decision, it's gonna be tough not to hand in a ballot. Mark, none of the above. But I'm gonna hand in a ballot. Mark, none of the above. Take down these Christmas lights, it's almost spring. Now when it's almost summer, we can all take down everything. Bosses and bankers, landlords and kings. Then we'll take down our guitars, as everyone sings. That this is the start, and this is the end. Oh, nothing else matters but me and my friends. No, nothing else matters but you and your When he made the earth Was to separate people By monetary work Cause that was all you Buddy, that was all me Don't you think about that next time You think that you're free As you ignore the future We rewrite the past Somebody's gotta be Coming in last Cause that's how you learn it But that's no excuse Build your own world If you find your own proof and get back into Eden if you speak your own truth. I wanted to play that one uh, first for you because I thought that it seems like it does touch on those themes that all the other songs talk about quite a bit. Um, feels sort of like a centerpiece for the rest of the record. It was written. Uh, somewhere in the middle, there were already a couple songs written for it, and, but after that one was written, it felt like the whole thing started to come together. Um, a nice thing about, you know, the medium of, of music is that not just the words, unlike, you know, when you have to read literature and stuff like that, it's not just the words that can paint the picture, there's also obviously the music to it, and uh, when we put that song together with the big band and the big noises, <laughs> it, uh, it really made the rest of the thing come together. Um, that song itself is, like I was saying before about, you know, the possible importance of, you know, what's insignificant to everybody else. That song itself, it, my most ambitious, I think that I think that song's about, uh, you know, I think it's an, an anarchy carol. It's, uh, it's a manifesto for a world that doesn't have bosses or you know, xenophobia in one part, or expectations, or, uh, you know, money, stuff like that. At the most ambitious, I, I think that that's what that's about. Uh, at my least <laughs> ambitious, I think that it's probably, uh, you know, those are some pretty complex ideas, not that they're mine, you know, but ideas of, you know, there's God and creation in there, and, uh, you know, anarchy again, and stuff like that. These really big concepts to be boiled down to a couple lines that rhyme is overly simplistic. It's, uh, you know, it's naive, I think. It's, uh, it, it could definitely be painted as that. And, uh, but no matter which I'm feeling about it, I still believe every word of it. 